¿Qué pasó, Regina? ¿Ya le hiciste? Ya terminé. Uh -huh. Regina, no puedo mover los brazos. Demon, tíralo rápido. No puedo, Regina. Rápido, tíralo, Demon, si no se va a perder. Regina, Regina. no. Demon, Regina, tíralo. tíralo. No me sale. ¡Tíralo! Regina, me está dando mucho que me sale. Tíralo, tíralo, Regina. Tíralo. Te lo juro, me está dando. Tíralo, me está dando. Tíralo. Regina. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome to Duality 9X. For all you Duality 9Xers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are, whatever you guys are. I'm super excited to do this video for you guys, but more importantly, I'm super excited that I get a chance to do this with you guys. We're going to react to this together. Uh, by the way, we're getting a lot of support, um, a lot of great comments. Uh, a big shout out to Anz Jula from the Netherlands. He's watching our videos and you know, we've got people from all over, from like the, the Philippines, from Europe, from various parts of Asia, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So I wanna thank each and every one of you guys. Hey, if you guys, if you guys can, when you guys leave a comment, maybe just uh, write down where you guys are from and then I could give you guys a little shout out too. Uh, so that'd be kind of cool uh, because we're growing, we're, we're an organic little community here. So um, I did a couple announcements before I get into this video. Uh, I did mention that we're gonna do a giveaway for this Amazon Echo and this Google Nest Mini. The deal with this guy was that we have to get to about 100 subs in order for me to give this away. So we smashed right through that, and here we are today. I'm gonna give this away uh, this weekend, and so I'm gonna pick a random, I'm gonna have a randomizer, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, put all the people that put in comments, along with their um, a subscriber handle, and, and then the lucky winner will get announced. I'll, I'll send you guys a message uh, to reply back to one of your comments to let you know. Uh, who won and then I can collect your guys information and send this off to you Okay, and then once we hit 150 subscribers We're gonna give away the Google Nest Mini and we're very close to that. So who knows? Maybe we'll smash to that tonight. We're, we're getting pretty close to that, but All right guys, let's um, let's get into it. Um, I've got a great great video that I want to share with you guys uh, from a youtuber by the name of mind junkie now This individual has been putting out some high quality content if you guys if you guys are into like paranormal scary You know weird strange disturbing type of videos, which we like to showcase a lot of on our channel So I want to do a little shout out to the mind junkie by the way So the the video today is the top 15 scariest videos of all time now because of time I'm not gonna be able to get through all 15 videos. We might be able to get through like seven or more, uh, depending on how long these videos are. Now again, it's high quality content. I'm gonna do my best to um, uh, try to get as much of this as I can. And if you guys are really interested, definitely check these guys out for watching the rest of the, the video. So uh, without further ado, um, let's get it going guys. Um, I've got my drink of choice today. I don't have my cup, my traditional cup that I normally have, but I got my drink of choice. I hope you guys have your beverage, so sit back, strap in, put your seatbelt on. We're about to go flying. Let's get it. I found these next set of creepy clips over on TikTok, uploaded by Tasha Daz. Tasha claims her house is haunted and has uploaded several videos of strange things happening around her supposedly haunted home. It all started after Tasha and her husband moved into an old farmhouse. Objects began moving on their own, doors would close by themselves, and strange knocks could be heard around her property. At first, Tasha just ignored it, but the activity became so frequent that she began to document it, and this is what she caught. What are we looking at? See, and you think I'm crazy. The oh, first oh, time I'm oh, here by myself, oh, at, there's oh a my picture gosh. on the floor, and it just... Oh my goodness.
Okay, every single morning, these are on the floor. Every single morning. So I'm gonna hook up my computer and see if I catch anything tonight. Maybe it's just rodents, but we're gonna find out. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at them, destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Oh, I see it right there, guys. Look in the corner there on the chair. There's like a shadowy figure and then it just, boom, disappears. can be seen opening before slamming shut mysteriously all on its own an eagle-eyed viewer pointed out that something can be seen at the bottom section of the door as it swung open but what is it then at 2 53 in the morning tasha's doorbell cam is triggered by something and the sounds of footsteps in the snow can be heard now bear in mind tasha's farmhouse is located miles out in the middle of nowhere so who could be wandering around outside on another night tasha is awoken to the sound of tapping coming from the roof of her home which apparently her family slept right through. Tasha keeps finding books on the kitchen floor in the mornings so decides to set up a camera to try and capture whatever keeps knocking them off. Shortly after 1am the camera catches a random noise before the books topple over and then a couple of hours later they slide off onto the floor. Tasha films her dogs in the living room and without Tasha realising a shadow can be seen crawling up her wall. A few nights later Tasha's doorbell camera films a mysterious shadow taking form before it quickly moves out of view of her doorbell camera. Tasha was understandably creeped out by all of this and wanted to get to the bottom of it. So she called in a team of paranormal investigators to investigate her house and this is what they found. In the hall? In the hall. So that is where um, my dog gets scared. Right. So, oh. we're, 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 we're to the hall. So here, you yeah. wanted us to come to the hall. You want to say hi? Okay. What, what the heck? Is that you? As the investigators are conducting a paranormal investigation yeah, inside Tasha's living room, the amount of orbs floating around is uncountable. Whatever is haunting Tasha's home then tells the investigators to move to the hall, and as they're standing there, a picture frame moves unnaturally before falling over, startling the investigators. They then make their way upstairs, and what happens next made her blood turn cold. So, apparently it seems that they're very upset that you're changing, changing the, house. the house. So you think it will calm down when we're done, or? Uh, if you can find peace with them. As Tasha and the investigators are on the upstairs landing, a ghostly apparition can be seen appearing at the bottom of the stairs. It quickly takes form before disappearing into thin air. Tasha's viewers were left stunned at the footage she'd captured, and many mentioned that she needs to get her house blessed. Several viewers forwarded her clips to psychic mediums, and Isabel Frank, a popular psychic medium and energy healer, made a video in response. Okay, so I had to watch this video multiple times. I was tagged in two different videos of yours and this is what I got right away I could feel the energy in through these videos so a lot of times through TikTok people have fake hauntings this is not fake um, so I want to verify that for you or anyone else that watches that video it is heavy heavy energy these are not just one in energy this is multiple energy so there's about two to maybe three I say maybe three because one feels that it's not as strong as the other two presents in this household now they, they are not attached to your actual home they are attached to the property and to the land so it could have been that they previously lived there when there was a previous home so i'm not sure if your home is a remodel or like there was another home or there could have been 
something on this land far before there was homes. Um, but either way, they're attached to the land, and they're very bothered that you are there. They're not angry. They they are bothered and more frustrated that you are in their energy and in their space. So what do you think? Is Tasha's farmhouse haunted as both she, the two paranormal investigators who investigated her home, and Isabel Frank, the psychic medium, claim? You tell me. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Wow, guys. So that that's incredible. Um, there was so many instances where you can see clearly a shadowy figure just kind of like materializing itself in front of the camera and just kind of disappearing. Now, you can't make out exactly what it is, but clearly there's there's something there. There's something that for whatever reason was able to kind of you know appear in its you know in its true form in front of the camera because most often the case the cameras can't catch it and usually you get issues with like the cameras being very grainy or there's very vi poor video quality you can't really make out what exactly you're seeing but there was a lot of uh, cases there and i'm sure there was a lot more that they didn't add to this but um something is seriously going on in this individual's home <clears throat> the fact when those books when when she when, when that the homeowner set up a camera and she had it pointed towards kind of like where the books are and like in the the kitchen there um and you see the books kind of like fall back i thought okay maybe it's because there's um like wherever she is maybe there's construction something like that that's going on perhaps maybe within the area of her home that may be causing vibrations right to the to the uh, to you know to the wall to to the house itself maybe causing things to kind of move around a little bit but when those books got pushed off the counter and onto the floor and then there was like a little bit of laughing there that that's when i realized that this video m most likely is not fake right and so Anyhow, that that was great. So let's uh, let's watch the next one. This next ghost video comes from the YouTube channel Analog Heaven. The video was uploaded back in July 2012 and is apparently proof of the supernatural. The uploader claims that the following video was sent to them by a person who had been hearing their piano playing mysteriously all by itself. The unknown person decided to set up a camera pointing at their piano to try and get to the bottom of this strange occurrence. And this is what they caught. The piano lifts like open and starts to play around. somehow all on its own. And if you look wow. closely, what looks like an apparition can be seen on camera, as if it's yeah. playing the piano. Now I have no idea if this video is real, but the uploader and their viewers seem to believe it is. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera as the uploader and their viewers claim? The next ghost video comes from one of my favourite ghost hunting channels, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. The ghost hunters uploaded this creepy video at the beginning of December when they visited the Viaduct Tavern to conduct a paranormal investigation. The Viaduct Tavern was built in the mid 1800s, directly opposite a prison built all the way back in the early 1200th century. There have been numerous reports of paranormal activity at the Viaduct Tavern, which were reported by several of the owners dozens of staff and guests to the Viaduct Tavern over the years. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations set up their equipment, including static cameras on each floor pointing down the hallways, and within minutes, things start to get creepy. We've got a motion detector at the door there. If it picks up any movement, the light will come on. So can I speak to whoever it was that's here that levitated the carpet off the floor huh. a carpet levitated
ஹலோ Is there someone up there? There was like, I, I don't know what it was. Some sort of noise from... on the stairwell or further up the stairs. Hmm. Somebody's making noise. Did you hear that? It was like a door moved. Hello? Whoa. The sound of a door moves from somewhere nearby. Here is the enhanced audio taken from Static Cam 3 covering the hallway. Wow, these guys are brave. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. a few footsteps on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. So they, they rigged this house with cameras everywhere. That's interesting. Kate, please come through. There you go. That's what I was hearing. Shh. Kate, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. So he's attempting to make contact with this. Jesus. Oh man. Hey there. Oh. There was someone that stood by me. Okay. There's so much to buy by me then. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Man. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. There. Okay. I was stood here. No. Okay. Okay. It was there. Perhaps you can answer a question for us. Are these actual cells? that were used in the Giltspur Street Compter. If you've been wrongly accused, can you speak into the red light and tell us what you want to say?
It's almost like I hear out. If I knew it's telling him out your full I name, get out. I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Guys? Yeah? Mm. Yeah. What have we caught? It's time to leave. Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? As the team are alone in the tavern, the door on the third floor mysteriously opens and closes by itself. Then the sound of knocking and footsteps can be heard walking on the wooden floorboards on an upper floor. The team then make their way to the top floor of the haunted tavern, where supposedly the landlady's daughter witnessed paranormal activity. Phil decides to call out, and then suddenly Mark becomes startled by a figure standing right by him. And in the moment when Mark jumps away, he manages to capture the face of whatever was standing right by him. Captured on Mark's night vision camera, the distorted face of someone or something can be seen for a split second, oh, but the wow. question is, is, who is it? Then, as the ghost hunters are down in the basement, loud footsteps can be heard walking quickly on the floorboards above them, and their motion detector placed upstairs triggers by something we can't see. The team then move back upstairs and ask a series of questions, and then captured on Jeff's camera, a mysterious black shadowy figure can be seen quickly passing in front of yeah. the window, not once, but twice. At first, it moves from right to left before moving back the opposite way. So, did Ghost Head Paranormal Investigations capture real paranormal activity at this haunted tavern? You tell me. Real or fake? That's a decision. The next you creepy clip make. was uploaded to YouTube by John, the paranormal guy. Visited an old cemetery located somewhere in San Antonio. The graveyard was built in the mid 1800s and is estimated to house around 4,000 graves. John and his two friends explore the cemetery late at night and capture this on camera. John figure. films what appears to be a shadowy figure wow. lurking in the graveyard. The shadowy figure can be seen for a brief moment, but when John's infrared light hits it, it appears to vanish out of sight. So, what do you think? Could this be a ghost caught on camera or something else? This next creepy clip was uploaded to YouTube by Lupus Gamer. Shows are attempting the mythical Baby Blue challenge. Baby Blue is an oh, wow, urban guys. legend similar to the myth of Bloody Mary. Oh. The ritual goes like this. You stand in the bathroom on your own oh, oh, with the oh, lights oh. off, the door locked. Then you stare into the mirror while holding your arms out like you're rocking a baby. Okay, isn't this better than TV, guys? Like, why, why would you want to just sit there and watch hours and hours and hours on, on television when you can watch videos like this, right? And content that's catered to exactly what you want, what you want to see. Um, this is super exciting. So by the way, they're talking about this, uh, this entity and how you call it and stuff. If you guys recall in one of my earlier videos, right? About, um, um, about an episode where some people in India we're trying to call the same particular entity and what happened so i think there's a correlation here uh this is interesting so here let's let's continue whilst repeating the words baby blue blue baby 13 times if you perform the ritual without any mistakes they say an evil entity will appear now i have no idea if this actually works as i daren't try it myself but loop is gamer does attempt the ritual and it turned out to be a very bad idea baby blue blue baby baby blue blue baby so apparently you gotta baby say this blue. many many times blue baby. I think. baby blue blue baby ba blue baby baby blue all right let's let's oh regina me puse en el dress oh wow 
güey! Regina me da un chorro comezón en los brazos. ¿Lo hiciste 15 veces? ¡Regina! ¡Oh! ¡Wow! ¡Me dio un chorro en los brazos, mami! As Luffy's gamer is performing the ritual, someone or something can be seen peering in through the window behind her face. Eerily stares in before oh, yeah. ducking out of sight. Luffy's oh, gamer yeah. then starts yelling as if she's possessed by something. Then she feels pain in her arms. Luffy's gamer claims his video is 100% real, and her viewers believe it is too. But what do you wow, think? Did Luffy's gamer summon That's the evil entity figure. by performing the baby blue challenge? This next okay. short but mysterious video went viral on TikTok a couple of months back. It was uploaded to the TikTok account, Civilizations Forgotten. Without giving too much of the video away, oh, wow. the video shows a tour guide giving a demonstration outside an old Mayan temple when something rather mysterious happens. Please join me to the front of the steps. And when the sound of the clapping touches the steps according to the speed of the sound, that frequency, it will travel in the chamber. Yeah. But when it comes out, it will be equal to the song of a bird. Wow. <laughs> and we still don't know how to do that or how to do that, and we say we have. Are you kidding me? That's shocking. And the sound of the temple and the bird is already in computers and sonograms to check the frequencies and the two of them, they're equal. The tour guide claps his hands and the sound of a bird echoes out of the ancient temple, which bear in mind was built thousands of years ago. Commenters on this video were quick to point out that the sound is of that of a spiritual bird known as the Quetzal, and that the Mayans built the temple this way so they could communicate with friends or family. Now I don't know about you, but this video does make you think just how advanced and intelligent were ancient civilizations. Guys, that is absolutely mind-blowing. So Civilization's Forgotten, definitely um, a, a YouTube channel you have to check out. So at this ancient temple, he's at this individual is at the bottom of the pyramid and he starts clapping. And every time he makes a clapping noise, you can hear uh, an acoustic sound of that of a bird, right? And so they're saying that the ancients believed, or they believe that it was an ancient bird and they, they you know i guess the ancient you know the aztecs and the people of that time used to do this to be able to connect uh communicate sorry with this ancient bird or the mystical bird so that is pretty interesting but you see how uh genius and how uh the architecture you know everything from the architecture to to the way these buildings were built thousands of years ago not using the modern day type of technology that we have to make you know construction and building easy they had primitive tools and for them to be able to construct these megalophic like these unbelievable uh buildings and to be able to to do things in a way where they were acute like acoustically designed for sound and for other purposes it's absolutely incredible things that would marvel uh, modern day technology and engineering today so that was amazing and there's other buildings like that as well places in Asia like South Asia like India like the old um, structures that were built by the the Mughals and 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 even the people before them and the way they designed the buildings was that if anyone like there was one particular building a palace where if an intruder were to get in the the sounds of the footsteps would actually um go all the way to the top the top floor and it would alert like literally the like whoever was there would would know that somebody was somebody was trespassing and it would give them the opportunity to escape so i mean this is absolutely incredible amazing engineering amazing
The next ghost video comes from the popular ghost hunting channel, Twin Paranormal. Twin Paranormal visit the old territorial enterprise located in Virginia City and is said to be incredibly haunted. The old building is home to many artifacts and relics, which the owners and staff believe are cursed. Native American remains have been discovered buried under the property and even a real mummified body was found behind a wall in the basement. Wow. The actual body still preserved. Their identities and cause of death remain unknown. The old territorial Enterprise was originally founded and was a local newspaper back in 1863. Just 12 years later, the building suffered a catastrophic fire and burned to the ground. Everything was lost in the fire except the basement. Local rumours say that the reason behind the basement surviving the huge blaze was because of the cursed relics and the lost souls that are trapped down there. The twin paranormal team conduct their investigation inside the old building in an attempt to communicate with the spirits of these people and this is what they caught. Someone's knocking on this door. Did you just hear that? Someone was knocking on that door right there. It just got so intense up here, boys. What happened, Wyatt? So we can hear that. I was staring at the ball, and I heard what sent that. Did you hear that creaking? Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard the stairs creaking, and I swear to God, it was like... <sighs> is that you? The I... man that everyone says is up here? <sighs> Who whispered to me? I heard you right here, right down here. Something just got thrown. Dude, it was literally, it sounded like, what are you doing up there? Or like, you shouldn't be up there. Some shit like that. Oh no. Literally clear. I was pointed right here by the ball, but I heard it like right there. We've heard so many stories about you. We want to see you. Join oh. us. Oh my gosh. No. We're not gonna. You be careful leaning up against that railing. Whoa. I'm gonna try something, guys. I'm gonna go sit right there on that fifth step. Mm -hmm. And I wanna see if it, like I feel different. You want me to film? If you can. Yeah. I'm gonna sit right here on this fifth step. Oh, f no, man. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. The step Adios, that everyone amigos. says they start to feel weird I'm on. out. Oh, jeez. The step that everyone says they start to feel weird on. Twin paranormal team hear movement on the stairs. Then, captured on the team's static camera upstairs, the light in the room where the camera is filming all of a sudden goes out. And then a black shadow quickly oh, moves across the screen from left to right oh, at rapid man. speed. At the time of recording, none of the twin paranormal noticed the light go out or the dark shadow. But when they watched the footage back, they were understandably shocked at this footage. So did twin paranormal capture paranormal activity inside the old territorial enterprise building? You tell me. Wow. All right, guys. That's all the time that we have today. Uh, great, great videos. Uh, so support Mind Chunky, YT, Mind Chunky YouTube. But please, uh, if you guys like this video, uh, please smash the like, subscribe, comment. And if you're gonna comment, let me know where you guys are from. Um, I'll give you guys a shout out right here. And uh, yeah, I, I, hey, we're growing our community, guys. You know, this is fascinating. It's, it's, it's an exciting time. Uh, we're getting a lot of viewers, we're getting a lot of people subscribing, I'm hearing a lot of great things and uh, it's an opportunity to connect with each and every one of you guys and get to know you guys. Uh, but the great thing is we're growing this channel together and that's, that's what's important. So we've already surpassed 100 subscribers, now we got to get to 150, we're almost there. And then pretty soon we're going to be talking about like a thousand, ten thousand, twenty, hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, get me to a million. You guys have heard of Casper Sight, right? Casper Sight. He's also an amazing guy that you want to follow. And I remember one of his videos, he's like, hey guys, we're almost at a million. Just get me to a million. Well, a million would be a dream, right? And one day we're going to be, we're going to be doing this video and we're going to be talking about, hey guys, remember when we're talking about getting to 100 subscribers? Remember we're talking about getting to 150 subscribers? Well, now we're at a million, a million plus. It's not unrealistic. I mean, we're almost there, you know, I think almost there, sorry. We're quite a ways away from that, but we're almost 
to the point where we're starting to get some momentum and some traction. So um, again, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting us. Please smash the like and subscribe, comment. And in the meantime, and in between time, that's another one. Please don't do anything to yourself that could jeopardize your health. And I look forward to catching you guys on the next adventure. Stay safe. Peace.